VIP scars can be like battle wounds. You've beaten the breakouts, but you're left with a constant reminder every single time you look in the mirror. It's something Cecilia knows all too well. My journey with my acne problem and scarring has been a long one. I'm 41 years old. I'm still dealing with outbreaks. Initially, um, ninth grade, I remember going the first time to a dermatologist. They told me, oh, you have hormonal problems. They start you on birth control. Now you're embarrassed. People think, what kind of girl that young is on birth control? After that, they told me I had cystic acne. These are like large, pus-filled, hot, red bumps. They would lance them with a scalpel. It was so painful. I was 15 years old, sitting there crying in a doctor's office. He told me, it's going to leave a scar. You're just going to have to deal with it. I've tried lasers didn't work. Went to dermabrasions. Super painful. And then for the next two to three days, it looks like you basically slid your face across asphalt. Compounding medications, they minimize the breakouts. But at the end of the day, the scarring does not go away. What we have spent on my skin alone would probably be able to buy three brand new cars and a down payment on a house. For me, I would love to find that miracle treatment, cream, pill, so I can wake up and have this beautiful porcelain smooth skin. So I haven't given up hope. I just would like to have that confidence in myself. Cecilia joins us backstage with Dr. Orden and board certified dermatologist, Dr. Sonia Batra. And this is actually a new way that you all are gonna show that can help erase acne scars. Pretty exciting. It's very exciting, so tell us all about it. So it's a new treatment called Bellafil, and it was just approved early this year. And it's actually a combination of collagen as well as tiny microspheres of an acrylate. And the collagen is gradually dissolved by the body. It gives that instant lift effect. But those tiny microspheres actually stay in place and provide a scaffolding for your body to lay down its own collagen and kind of add a longer lasting you know, effect. This is a great innovation because in the past to treat acne scars, we used all the fillers that we had available to us, but this filler, this treatment, I should say, is specific for acne scars, which is really cool. Doctor, let's see how it works. Absolutely. With these acne scars, they're actually adhesed down. And what she's doing with the injection is not only filling it up, but with her needle, she is breaking up those adhesions to create a space so that the filler can go in that. And that's all, these are all very cool innovations. And what's interesting that the filler is collagen. Collagen coming from cows, bovine collagen was the first filler that we started using some 20 years ago. It sort of had a resurgence because we know it does fill very nicely <laughs> and it's easy to work with and gives great results. Yeah, and it, well, it actually gives that instant lift effect, which is what's so amazing about it, is that 80% of it, you can see they're propping up just as mm -hmm. I'm injecting. And how many can you do at one and sitting? So you can do, this This is a one cc syringe. So you could do, depending on the depth and the size of the scar, you know, up to about 10 scars with one syringe. So in the study, the average person had about four scars. You can see I've already filled about six on Cecilia. Mm -hmm. and, and Dr. Batra, I know you're gonna finish up, but before <laughs> we go, how much would, uh, you, you're talking about how much you're using, mm -hmm. the average cost for someone who wanted to get treated with something like this, is it, uh, is well, it affordable, it's, is it? It's, well, it's, it's expensive in the sense that it's about probably $800 to $1,200 per syringe. But the aspect of many of the lasers and chemical peels and other products that we use can also be much more expensive than that. Okay. And the tiny microspheres that stay in the skin are much more long lasting. And so, uh, more options. That's really what it comes down to. Absolutely. More options for people who've suffered from severe acne scarring. Dr. Badra, Cecilia, thanks so much.